Hey, so we are doing an experiment. I bought a thing from Amazon. Sorry. And uh, I'm trying to kind of clean this up a little bit. So, what I bought from Amazon, it is a, it is a nine tier over the, oh, you can't see that. A nine tier over the door pantry organizer. So I bought this because I would really like to get the seasonings off my counter and just pull them out when I need them. It's just so busy up there. And so, uh, so yeah, so I bought this and it came today. This may be terrible. This thing may not work, but we're going to find out together what we think. Okay. It's a good box. I know that much. Y'all know I love them boxes. I'm a box hoarder. So, uh, we're going to do an unboxing. Listen, this is not some, like, this is not me doing some kind of promotion or nothing, okay? I don't want anybody to think that. This is just, I needed it, and so I went on Amazon and bought it. So, uh, I know I told y'all that people, oh, it ain't a good box. Look. Look. Where is it at? Right there. Doggone, that makes my heart sad. That'd been a good box. I could have put some good stuff in there. Anyway, I'm going to open all this up. Hopefully there's some instructions in here somewhere. But I'm going to get this open. Uh, like all... There's that and that. Yeah, I'm going to get... Oh, oh, wait, there's the instructions. All right, so listen. I'm going to get all the paper off because that's going to take a minute. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'll am gonna. i be back with you. So give me just a couple minutes. Okay, so it comes with nine of these little shelf things. So, and they all kind of stack. So that means they're going to be different sizes. So this is a smaller one, and then a medium one, and a big one. So these are what's going to hang on there to put my spices on. And you can put more than just spices in it. Again, this is not something I, you know, that was sent to me. And if I ever were to show y'all something that I actually, you know, somebody did send me, don't just go buy it because that just means somebody sent it to me. And uh, and that means that I don't know if it's good or not. You know, that just means somebody sent it to me. So don't ever just run out and buy something just because you see me use it. All right, so we got our over-the-door hooks. And then this is what's going to go into this one. So the way these are is instead of screws, you get these little... You get these little spinner looking things. So, we're going to take this and push it into here. Let's see. Push it into here. Wait a minute. How's that? That don't seem right. Oh! Make sure you got to turn the right way and push your little spinner thing in here and spin it. I'm assuming. You know I ain't read the instructions. Don't be getting all don't be getting all uppity with me. You know I'm not an instruction person. Alright. This is Terry trying to be maybe a little bit more organized. Can't guarantee it's gonna work, but you know. And I'm guessing they go on this side. Yeah, because these little these little things is what's gonna bump against the door. So the metal, they look like they're suction cups, but they ain't suction cups. But these are what's going to protect your door from the metal banging up against it. So then, this isn't the best place. A floor would probably be better, but, you know, ain't nobody got time for getting on the floor. So then, looks like, we take another one. Put it on here and get her screwed on. other one. So how are y'all doing today? <clears throat> Today's Friday. I come home early from work. They let me come home early. I said, you know, it's been a long week. So I want to come home and um, I guess it ain't that one. I said, I want to go home. So I come home. Hmm. Let me see here a minute. Nope, it ain't that ain't to be this end. There we go. Just got to line it up a little bit better, Terry Terry. I don't even know what brand this is. 
if you really want to, I'll try to put a link to the Amazon video in the description, or the, in the Amazon where I got it in the description of this video. So then that way, if you really care and you really, you know. But again, don't just buy it because I bought it. This may be a boneheaded decision and it may not work. So don't just do it because you see me doing it. And I say that about everything. Anything you see me with, don't just do it because I do it. I'm impulsive and make poor decisions. Alrighty. Now I'm going to put these last one, two on. And then we put the base on. So it's like you got these little bars and then the bottom is this H looking thing. And that's what I'll put you on. I'm probably going to have to move those shelves out of the way, but and then we'll go hang it. And then, well, I wonder, hopefully we can get at least most of my seasonings. Probably not the ones I keep over on my refrigerator, but maybe I can get most of my seasonings on here. Let's move these, hang on. All right, so these have little holes and that's how you know which side it's supposed to be. And then on this one, it's the bottom. Cause see, it's got a little cap on the end. It's got a little cappy cap. So we're going to line this up. There we go. And we're going to screw these in. They didn't send extra of these. A lot of times, you know, when you order something, you get an extra part. But it doesn't look like they sent any extra of these. So that's all right. Then they sent some felt. Let's see where the felt is supposed to go. I bet the felt goes up around the top things. Let me get these. Let me get this one on. Hang on just a second. Let's see what the next step is while I'm spinning. Does it show anything? Step two. If the thickness of your door allows. Here. Well, look at that. That's some weird typing. I think it says a lot. They didn't put it. It's like an H on top of an S. You can choose felt to protect your door. Clean the door surface thoroughly. Ensuring it's free from any moisture. And then it shows it hanging over the door. And then we hang our basket. So let's go over to the pantry and get this hung. Come on. Come on, y'all. We're, we're going to try something. All right. So that's my door over there. Let's see if this works. This door, when I moved in, already had these two hooks on it. So let's see if it fits. With it. Hey, 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 hey. That's cool. I could still keep some stuff there. I might put that felt up there, or I might not. Let me see. Hang on. Hang on. I know you see what's up there. I'm a hoarder. Leave me alone. All right, so. Let's see. Oh, is there a reason why I think I can't pull it down and do it? That's kind of funny. Sometimes I worry about myself. Y'all probably worry about me a lot, don't you? So we'll put... One of these little jobbers, we'll put it on the inside. Well, maybe. Well, that's the weirdest. No, we won't because it's not, it's the, the uh, back sticky part is staying on the paper and the felt is pulling away it'd be all right it's all right let's let's get some shelves going and see what we think hang on hang on i think what i'll do is the three little ones like on the higher part i don't even know how high they need to be so i just need to get an idea so we're just going to get them on there first but i'll do the three smaller ones up top then the next ones, I don't even know how many things need to be between them. Let's go one, two. Let's put two, but two holes between where I hang this one. Yep. All right. And where's this other third one? So one, two, hang. Okay. Now we'll do the middle one. One, two, hang. Okay, nope. And you. Okay, you're a middle. Oh, okay. One, two, hang. Okay. 
and then the last middle one. One, two, hang. All right. Now we gotta do these other ones. So one, two, hang. Can y'all see it? Okay. Here. I don't want to sit on the floor because one, the dogs will come running, and two, the water dishes are right there, so it's always wet around them. So, one, two, hang, oops, no, hang, no, there we go, and I can put this one way down here for now, and eh, let's put it right here. Now, I don't even know how it's going to work with the seasonings. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bring over some seasonings. So hang on. So my thought process is the ones that I use the least, I'm going to put at the top. And uh, so I'm still going to keep them. So onion powder, un garlic powder. I don't use those because I use onion and garlic, onion, salt and garlic, salt. Freeze dried chives. I don't use that much. And those are empty. Ground nutmeg, this, this is what I think of like fall. Uh, ground mustard, I'll put that up there. Ground cloves, that's like a fall kind of thing. Ground allspice, pumpkin pie spice, and cinnamon. So to me, those are kind of fall. And at some point, I can label these, but not now. Oh, I do have a little dealy. It says seasonal. So I'll stick that on there for now. If I can get it straight. Alright. So I can just transfer my sticker to those. The top one I labeled common. Because, you know, I, not common for me. But common, you know, most things like recipes. They don't call for garlic salt or, or, um, or, yeah, or, or, or uh, mustard seed and chives. Things don't call for that too much. Then this one was, I, call, I made this one, it's called random. So again, I'm putting the least used stuff where, so up on higher. So we got like marjoram, bay leaves, cardamom, dill weed, mint, and celery seed. So those are kind of specialty items right there. So I'm going to move this over to here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so next up, I have Southwestern. I use that. So I'll take this little sticker. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, it's a little crooked, but so am I. I'm crooked, too. So we got some tahini. And let's lower this one. Hang on. Or let's raise this one. Ooh, that works perfect. I need a drink. Hold up. All right. So now we've got our tahini, our medium fajita seasoning, some mild Southwest Ranch, which actually, um, this one, the my medium fajita seasoning, that's not even what it is anymore. It's just a seasoning, a, 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 a you know, Mexican seasoning that I put together. Then this is uh, some of that Mexican seasoning with ranch. So it's like a Southwestern with ranch. And cilantro, cayenne pepper, <clears throat> and crushed red pepper. That's what I call Southwestern. Then we get to Indian cuisine. And these, I've got two shelves of these. That's just what I called it, Indian cuisine. So some of these actually can go between, can go with the Southwestern or the Indian. But see, what I've done in the past is I've asked you all, what are some of your favorite seasonings? And uh, Marnie had told me, I think it was Marnie, I could be lying, but I'm pretty sure it was Marnie had told me several of their favorite um, seasonings that they use, she, they, she used in her Indian food. So... Uh, um, I think I might move my cumin. I'll put my cumin up here because I'm about out of room. So there we go. Southwestern, Indian. These, let's see. I'm going to put 
put these at the top with the common. It is sesame seeds and uh, poppy seeds. I use those. Now I've got one other peppercorn. I don't ever use no peppercorns, but I bought it for some recipe. I'm just gonna stick it up here in the seasonal. All right, now we got one more tray. I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm gonna save these two shelves for the ones that I use all the time. Um, my Italian, we're gonna, uh, I've got some, let's see, this is called daily, this is called blends, and this is called Italian. So maybe, <clears throat> let's see. I don't know. You know, I can always move the shelves. Let's just get them on here. Let's get the um, Italian on here. And uh, like I said, I can move these shelves if I want to in the end. Let's go on and get the Italian on here. So that's crushed rosemary, parsley, thyme. You know you've got to sing it with me. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, sage, Italian seasoning, and uh, this is roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. So those are what I call Italian. Oh, my guacamole and more. That's going up with my Southwestern. Minced onions. Well, this is going to go with the stuff that I use all the time. Um, let's see. So then I've got a section called blends. That's going to be those and these. So I'm just going to pull this little sticker off that says blends. And from here down, I guess it'll just be blends. And I don't have, I didn't buy, and I'm not going to buy more, um, of these little cute jars. See, minced onions. I love these, and I use these daily. So I don't know. I want them at eye level and grab level. I'm, I don't know. I'll just leave it right here for a minute. No, I'll just stick it right here. We need the home. So black pepper and white pepper, these are things that people just use. Maybe for now, I'll stick them on the bottom. The minced onions and the peppers. Uh, so, okay, so with blends, I've got Creole seasoning. That Creole, would it fit in there? Nope, it won't fit in there. So, all right, Creole. I've got Montreal chicken, tarragon. I think that's Italian. It sounds Italian. Let me have it. Old Bay. I don't know what the heck I'd use Old Bay with. Um, random. Let's see if it fits with random. Nope, it won't fit. Seasonal. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Huh. Well, I'll just stick Old Bay down on the bottom. I also have one empty jar, and then a couple of these jars, so I'm going to put those down there. Look, I don't know what y'all can see and not see. Hopefully, Editing Terry has zoomed in if, if you need to. Uh, that's just a little circle to put on top of that other one. Uh, ranch, that's a blend. Uh, my barbecue bear rub, my mom got that when she went to Alaska probably about probably five years ago. I'm going to die if I keep using it. And... Uh, Let's see, what, I got some Kinder's garlic. Uh, it's like a smoked flavor. All right, now we're going to pull over my day-to-day -day seasonings. This bucket has been hiding on my table because I had so many seasonings. So we need to find a home for these. Um, so, all right, so I'm just thinking of, let's see, barbecue-y, um, farm dust. I love my farm dust and my campfire. Garlic lovers, that's kind of Italian y, but it, I don't think it will fit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, my, my butter, that's just, I'll stick it. No, I'll put the butter down on the bottom. I got a couple different butters. Those will go on the bottom for now till I think of something. Um, yep, yep, my garlic and onion. Love that one. Um, Kinder's garlic parmesan, that's kind of Italian y, but I don't think it'll fit, will it? Mmm. -hmm. Hang on, let me just see. Nope, nope, it won't fit. So that'll just go, I'll stick that here for now. I might lower this one just one notch. There you go. Oh, my little Richards. We know I love my little Richards. I don't use Montreal chicken much and Creole not so much. 
Oh, that new accent flavor. Kinders, you know I love my Kinders. Lemon pepper, I'll put that down here. Um, and another lemon herb, a Kinders lemon, lemon herb. This is just called The Blend. I'll put it up here. And brown butter roasted garlic. And then buttery burger blend. What's this? Lemon garlic, we'll put that down there with the other. And then orange pepper. So that way it just kind of... <clears throat> and then this thing's going to... It's going to fall through. But this is my Bravo Avo. I don't have a little... I don't have a little thing for it, but I'll just put it right there. That's my Bravo Avo. So now... Hang on. Okay, so I got a couple of these Keto Chow bases for like a spicy taco and a Keto Chow uh, chicken soup and the, the concentrated beef Keto Chow. So I want to keep those on here so I don't lose those. So I'm going to set those all together. Now, <clears throat> look at that. I'll be able to, let's see if it closes. Hot diggity. Let's try again. Well, it's holding up so far. So, uh, we're going to try this out, y'all. And I could say, oh, we're doing sap. Now, I'm not bringing my salt over. I'm leaving my salt over there. I could say, oh, I want a southwestern flavor. Let me just take the shelf off. Or, oh, we're doing an Indian flavor. Let me add a couple others and take them over there. So, now, let's go. I have junk in here that I probably need to take out. But... No, I'm not there yet. Let's see. All right. Now let's go to the kitchen counter and see if we made any room. Okay, so I showed you how it should look, but this is how it's really going to look. We all have a plastic bag full of plastic bags. It's just part of it's just, well, okay, I do because I'm a hoarder. And also, I have one of these cutesy things that you're supposed to put your plastic bags in that, uh, you know. Anyway, so I got lots of plastic bags. Don't judge me, but this is how it's really going to look. But that's all right. It's going to be just fine just how it is. Now let's go look at the kitchen counter. Okay, so next up is this conversation. So I can take these off now. I'll take, probably take these down to the basement or something. What's that? Oh, that's another round lid, so I need to hang on to that. Let me just see. <clears throat> and like I said, I still have my, my seasonings over here by my stove, and they're just going to stay there because I'm for now, I don't think they'll fit. But <clears throat> I don't need this out because I don't ever use it, so I need to put this somewhere. I don't know where people, maybe like in my... I'll find a place. Hang on. I didn't find a place. I just stuck it over on the other thing. Just move it from one place to the other. That's my motto. All right. <clears throat> so I use my scale almost every day. Um, let's see. I'm going to plug you in. I have a... I don't really use this. I think I'm going to take this off now. Um, I have a, uh, a ring light back here. But it's not a ring light I use very often. So I think I'm going to take this to my room, to my, to my hoarder's room. <clears throat> and let's see. These are my daily pills. And I put them, I need to fill up my little pill box. I put them in my pill box. That's going to have to be out. These can go up here on this shelf. But this is my chalk. I keep my, I keep my chocolate electrolytes in a spoon now. Because I make my coffee every morning. So this is staying out. There ain't no, there ain't no doing anything special with that. Maybe I can slide the knives back there. Um, this can go up here. Um, I need my wipes because I'm messy, Marvin. And uh, I like my, I like my allulose. Or, or well, I've been experimenting with the allulose, so I'll keep that out for now. Got to have my scale as the center stage because that's fun. That's my that's my mama scale. Maybe mine. Uh, and I got to have my these spices. I think this is just a nice little fun piece. So I can have those out. Maybe this I could put somewhere. Like when I'm done with it. 
for now I can stick it in a drawer. But I do need to put this because I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. I need to move this little sticker over to my over to my cabinet. Hang on. All right, I have to keep my ice pick out. I use this thing every single day on my creamies. Every day. I could stick it. Maybe I could. Maybe I could put it right there. And then put this knife down in this drawer with the other knife. All right. So then I can grab my ice pick, chop up the top of my creamy, and, and clean it off and, and put it back. So I'll keep my chocolate right here. That's, that's my little coffee station. And those coffee syrups can, oh, you can't see them. So good. You're just focused right here. Hang on. Can you even see where I was back there? Probably not. I'm trying to let you see the whole thing, but. All right, so I'll keep the I'll keep my coffee pods right here, and I'll keep my uh, chocolate electrolytes right here. I make those, by the way. I make my own. I got a video if you want to see it, and got some allulose back there, and my wipes, and my knives, and like I said, I'll put my pick, ice pick right there, and then the scale, I'll just keep it right there, and these spices, I'm going to wipe that off here. I ain't gonna know how to act if I have more cabinet space. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, let's, I need to go on and wipe all this off right quick. Alrighty. Anyway, how's your day going? What you doing today? What day is it for you? I don't even know what day it is for you right now. Right now, for me, it's Friday. I asked work if I could leave early and they they never said no, so I did, and uh, so uh, yeah, I left work early, and I come home, and now here I am piddling around with you people, but I come home, and that, and my jobber was, that jobber that I put in the pantry, that thing was right there, now listen, I have these spoons up here, I don't use them as much nowadays, I used to use them a whole lot whenever I was doing my, um, uh, my vegetables and stuff for my meal preps and stuff. I really don't use them that often. So I probably could put these away. Oh my stars. I don't know what all splashed up here. My goodness. Something splashed up here and made a big old mess. Oh my goodness, Terry. Anyway, so I keep these spoons here. Maybe I'll set those back here by the knife. Brenda Gant said you should always have a jar or cup of spoons so when you're cooking you can just grab one and have it right where you need it at. And then I've got dog treats. I need to fill this up. Let's do that. They might all come running if they figure out what I'm handling in here. But we'll see. I just don't like this big thing out here. And uh, I used to have something else out here. Let me see if I can find it. This is what I had. It's really for bacon, but I lost the little top part. So well, this would look a little nicer. So there we go. And now I can trash that and I'll wash that. And these things are all dry, so it's not like it's gonna, you know, not like they're gonna go bad or anything. So I'll know that these are treats for dogs. These are treats for the dogs. I need to fill these back up. These are those rawhide free dog chew sticks that I give the dogs. So I just keep this thing full. This was my, I put a little sticker inside so I could remember. This was my great grandma's cookie jar. And it was just hanging out in my mama's house. And well, you know me, I needed it in my life. And I, and I don't have cookies, but I knew this is something that I keep out, these dog treats. So this thing gets used every day. Because these dogs get treats every day. All right. Yeah. Let me trash this here. Hang on.
Baby Shark knows exactly what I'm into, so let me just give them a cookie. Okay, so we've got dog treats, dog treats, and then these are dog treats. How does that feel? A little... Oh. So we got dog treats here. We got different kinds, so those can kind of sit there. I could probably clean this thing out. I don't need this up here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I better leave it for now. That's in case I have a fire. And that's shears. I don't need this up here. I don't know. I need to find a home for it before I just take it away. So for now, it just has to stay. It'll just stay there for now. Um, water bottle. In case I need water. Like if somebody's getting on my nerves, I can psh, psh, the dog. Um, this is fun tack. I use these with whenever, whenever to stick my stuff up there. I can put that in there. I've got my salt. That ain't very look nice looking. I'll set my salt over on this side. I'll show you the other side in a minute. Trash that. Trash that. <clears throat> Listen, I know it ain't fancy, but neither am I. Oh, I got these dog treats, but these are just staying in the Ziploc bag for now. It'll be all right. They don't need to be... I don't have another thing to put them in. These are just staying... These are their special treats. So, hang on now. I'm almost around to the end. And then we'll see if it if it looks better. So, hold it. All right, let's, let's hang that right there. And get rid of that, this, that. It ain't perfect. I'll take that off just so, you can, so it looks a little nicer. It ain't perfect, but look. I got more room now, guys. I got a lot more room now. Look at that. It's still cluttered, but it's me. It's me. The only thing, if I could figure out what to do with this. Let's see how it would look. Oh, that would look much nicer, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll leave it off and, and that'll be a, a later project. But looky there, guys. It's nice and orderly. How many how many containers of dog treats do you guys have? Do you got three? And and let's let's face it, this is actually coming back. So usually when I record, you don't see this in because usually when I record, I have I have the dog door sitting there and treats sitting there because when I pull the dog door off, I just stick it right here because it's quick and easy. So usually when I'm recording, you don't see this, this end of it. Um, and you don't usually see up there, so I may end up putting that gray thing back. And you'll never know. These are just because I had some extra Kleenexes. There. Don't judge. I blow my nose up too often to be running out of Kleenexes. So, <clears throat> all right. Well... There we go. That was very productive. Look at us. Yay. I'm proud of us. All right. Well, that's as productive as I get today. Have a good day. Bye.